course. So be it. <laughs> oh, Bruno. Uh, Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, it's, I think primarily the, the steep learning curve that it has is primarily because they don't, uh, give you really any instructions when you start playing it, <laughs> so people have to, uh, kind of guess what they're doing. Once you've figured things out, the, the, uh, how hard the game is drops off uh, pretty uh, quickly. This is one of those games where uh, kind of blind uh, blind playthroughs that end up becoming uh, probably funner. Uh, no, there's a definitive ending. Um, you have, I think, about eight to ten base stories. This is a custom story, uh, but you have uh, eight to ten base stories. Um, each of them have sort of varying end days uh, with different characters. Uh, for the most part, I'm running three of the standard characters and a custom character on this one. Um, and there's two main ways to end the game. You survive the war completely, um, which runs between, uh, 25, which is usually, um, games that start with, or storylines that start with a, um, a winter start to 
40 to 50 days at the higher end. Um, and then recently the developers added in a, a second way to actually end the game early. Um, um, I don't know where, uh, you go to the port, it's a port location, and uh, a guy will offer to uh, get you out of the city for uh, some gems. Um, there's, uh, right now, as you see, all my map is open up. There are two phases in the middle of the game. Uh, one is conflict, which will shut down half of the map, and then winter, which will shut down the other half. I'm actually waiting for winter to actually hit. Uh, let's see. some supplies. I don't even need supply. Hey, stop that. Need traitor. They actually keep one of these guys alive. Telling them off. Go guard. Uh, so you have two sequences here. The, the daytime, you uh, maintain your shelter, uh, build objects, and then of course at night you go out scavenging for supplies and things. Shovel. Shotgun and a pistol. I remember. Let's saw just for the heck of it. Turn your back on me.
Let's see, I like a ton of books here. Shotgun, knife, the shovel. surrendered. <laughs> Alright. I'm only killing the ones that basically defend the place. That was the uh, two males there. Women I don't care about. I don't want her to keep the priest alive though. There's actually a reason for that, too. Uh, well, that's exactly why I didn't want to knife him. I wanted to keep him alive. The priest, um, uh, it's an exploit in the game. Uh, the priest is a traitor, so... Oh, let me get out of here. I grab my stuff and go. stuff here before I leave. Teddy bear. Alright. Room for the exit. Take it. And he makes it. Alright. So the priest is a traitor. Several uh, several of the areas that you have, you have people that trade items that you can uh, buy or swap items with. The idea is, um, I'm forcing the traders to basically submit, so you do enough damage to them and they surrender, and then they won't bother you anymore after that, of course. <laughs> uh, the traders have, uh, 